Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's Activated Earth Hot News with Sunstar555. And over here what we're going to do is um, get messages, right? For light workers, star seeds, indigo children, and see what's the current energy that spirit wants us to know as light workers, star seeds, and earth angels, right? Um, my energy, it is a powerful force. I conquer fears. I've been transformed from the darkness into the marvelous light. My expectations, they stay high, for I've been through enough pain to know never to settle. I'm calling all like us right workers right now, star seeds, earth angels, and indigo children, to remind us it's time to unite. Because we can reach those who've been judged, who've been scorned, who've been left behind, ignored. We don't attract miracles over here because we're lucky. We attract miracles because we expect them. And over here on this channel, we're manifesting our own new earth reality. By understanding, right, ancient scripts, by getting messages from the universe, from our beloved beings, the council of the light. I call upon them, the ancient wisdom of the stars, the Akasha, the star keepers, the star ancestors, the councils of light, benevolent being of the highest realms only, to come right now and help us to get a message right now for star seeds, earth angels, and indigo children. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is our message? Let's go ahead and jump right on in here and see what we have coming up here for Star Seeds, Earth Angels, Indigo Children. Wow. <laughs> Somebody stressing, having anxiety right here. Now, it could be you. That, that's always the possibility that it could be you. Okay. I just want to say, all the cards, <laughs> I was shuffling them. They was all in reverse. All of these came out in the upright. Isn't that something? <laughs> okay. Let's make sure we can see everything here. Okay. All right. So the sun, you set the context of your own life. Something could be illuminated to you. Right? I feel like with this alien card right here. You could be really, really getting some type of messages from within, I feel like. Listen to your intuition, praying, ask the universe, our angels, for a message to come towards us. And I feel like the, the answer is going to come. The sun card right here, something has been illuminated to you. Or you realize right here that you do have the context and that you can set the context of your own life. We attract miracles over here, right? Because we expect them. Not because we're lucky. You set the context of your life with the sun card right here. I feel like that's what somebody could be realizing. Now, we do have the Nine of Swords right here, which does make me feel like somebody was all in their head about something. Lacking the self-confidence is a possibility, okay? It's time to put in the hard work. It's time to be very much focused, right, upon what messages actually is coming from your intuition. The calm, small voice, right, the soft voice, that is your intuition. Not something that is aggressive or dominant, okay? What's the message? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Three of Cups is in reverse, okay? You could be deciding, I'm not going to reconcile with somebody right here. It's a possibility. I'm not going to reconcile with one particular person right here. Um, Something that could be revealed to you could also be a little bit heartbreaking, maybe. The Sun card. Okay? Three of Cups right here. This is like a celebration card. It could be a reconciliation. So something could be illuminated to you why I'm not supposed to reconcile with someone. So, but something could be illuminated to you that's not so happy to know, you know. But, you know, the truth is set us free. Whether we're happy about it or not, it's the truth that actually set us free. Okay. Hmm. So we have the Queen of Pentacles and we do have the King of Cups right here. I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles, you're making a stable, practical decision right here. And it could be about, you could be deciding to be alone with the alien card, right? Or you could be deciding right here about doing some deep self-reflecting. I feel like you want to be single. That's what I feel like, okay? Maybe I'm, I'm choosing right now to be single. I don't want to reconcile with this person or some people. I want to be single. That's what I want, okay? So give me a chance right here with the King of Cups to really balance my emotions, right? Figure out what is right for me, okay? 
I feel like somebody's putting in hard work trying to be focused upon you, whether it's a romantic or friendship, a loved one, whatever. But I feel like with the fool card, it's very much unexpected to this person right here that you're lacking the motivation, that you're lacking the courage to participate with one particular person, or it could be many people. It could be, okay? But I feel like somebody wants to reconcile with you. Could be a, it could be a mother, you know, it could be a, it could be a mother, it could be a father, it could be children, it could be um a lover, you know, it could be anybody right here. But something is illuminating right here that maybe that reconciliation is on pause or something like that for somebody here. Somebody doing some stress, worry, and anxiety about it. It could be you, it could be them, right? It could go either way. It's very much unexpected after I put in so much work in this situation right here. That now somebody's lacking the motivation or the courage or something like that, okay? And somebody definitely feel like it's not justifiable right here. The fact that maybe somebody didn't tell you some truth. It's the King of Swords right here. It's reverse. And the King of Swords reverse is truth. And in reverse, somebody's not telling somebody the truth. So that could be unjustifiable right here. The fact that somebody didn't tell you the truth in the past, okay? Or or something like this. Something around that type of energy. Yeah, two of Pentacles reverse is the clarity right here. Now, we do have the Two of Cups that flipped out here in reverse. The Two of Cups reverse. True love, so we... Okay, now this also could be saying right here that I need to really listen to my intuition. Yeah. So, um, I feel like, um, yeah. Some might be feeling like some type of clarity is coming to you that something that's unjustifiable. Or to somebody else. It could even be somebody else. Maybe they kept something from you in the past. And now they can realize it's unjustifiable right here. Right? So, if somebody didn't tell you the truth right here, I get the sense they end some deep anxieties and stresses and worries right here because the sun is illuminating something to you or to them, okay? Anything else right here that's not a sword and a king of cups? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Light Rope, and Star Seeds, Earth Angels, Indigo Children. Yeah, see, this person really do see you as very stable, as dependable, as reliable, Okay. Now, for some of you, you could be stressing or having some type of anxiety right here surrounding money or finances or stability, a place to stay, something like that, okay? And I feel like the message right here is to balance your emotions right here, right? Listen to your intuition. Be careful what we're saying out of our mouth, okay? Make sure we understand the big power in what we say out of our mouth, okay? So we want to say things like, I am successful, as opposed to saying something like, I am broke. We don't want to say I'm broke. We want to say I am financially abundant, even if you're not. Okay. You want to say that. So that way, the universe, God, our angels can know exactly what you want. Okay. And bring it in for you. That's going to take hard, that's going to take hard work. That's going to take you being focused. Okay. So that this justice card could go on upright and justice could be served for you. Okay. When it comes down to you trying to um, manifest anything into your life, wherever it is a love, a house, money, whatever it could be, okay? Once again, we attract miracles because we actually do expect them. So if we're expecting a miracle, we can't say I'm broke because that's not expecting a miracle. That's saying I accept the, the lack of finances, right? And you don't want to say things like that. You want to say that I am abundantly, right? Provided for from my from my angels, the universe, God, right? And abundance and prosperity is coming to me. Well, it is here with me. It comes to me. Something like that. Okay. You have to learn the language to speak to the universe, right? So that things can come to you that you actually do want. Okay. You can't say things that the universe don't understand. When you say I'm broke, they think that's what you want. You want to be broke. So they make sure that you're broke. Okay, so you want to say that I am successful. So that way the universe know exactly what you want and they'll bring it towards you, okay? What's the message, please? This deck right here is called the Saints and the Angels. Okay? And we're going to see right now what they want to say right now to us light workers, star seeds, earth angels, and indigo children. Holy Spirit, holy angels. What's the message, please? Okay, so I hear dominion. That's why I hear dominion. So I feel like you have dominion over something. Yeah, it's like be brave. Be brave. You have dominion over it. Over what? Over lack. Lack of health. You have dominion over it. I have dominion over lack. I have dominion over health. 
I have dominion over prosperity. I have dominion over my life. Okay. You're going to have to believe it. Okay. You have to believe, right, that what you say, it is coming true. Safe travel. Okay. Some of you, you're going to be traveling. I keep getting this travel card all the single, all the time. Okay. Commitment also is right here. Okay. But that's it's the safe travel is um Saint Christopher. Give me one card, please, for safe travel. What is that supposed to be meaning, please? Okay, move. Huh? So yeah, I feel like that. Um, it, maybe it's time to move for some of you here, okay? Because it's move and the travel card. So I feel like some of you are going to move. Some of you, you have to be brave right here. You're gonna have to take a chance in some type of way. I hear legacy, okay? So something could be a legacy in moving, okay? Wise it's a wise decision right here to move for somebody here to travel, right? To change locations, okay? I feel like it's a physical home. You're going to be protected, okay? This owl is looking at me right there, owl right there. So you will be protected, okay? You will be protected. So that's something right here. It's a wise decision right here to travel to move. Yeah, they said it's steady progress. So I feel like somebody here is thinking about moving. <laughs> Yep. Study progress. It's going to take commitment right here. It's going to take for you to be brave right here. Okay. So yeah, the trump for his sound right here is it's time for you to have and understand that the universe is calling somebody to move. Okay. Let me pull up one card right here from the traditional deck for this move to see if they can give us anything about this move. Okay. Move card. And the guardian angel. What's the move card, please? And the guardian angel. Huh? Somebody's going to regret something right there. I can tell you that right here right now. They're going to feel left out in the cold because of the fact that you're moving right here. Okay. Page of Swords. This person's going to feel like that. This person's going to be watching you. Some of you, somebody could have lied to you about moving. This one also getting right here. It could have been a wise decision. This person didn't move with you in some type of way. Okay. Please understand that blessings, they come in many different ways. We might not always understand why somebody didn't move in with me. Because the father comes right here is regret. So this person regretted. They regret lying to you. They regret not moving with you for somebody here. But I do feel like with a temperance card right here that things are going to be balanced out. It's going to be transformed for you in some type of way. This ten of cups right here. It's not going to make somebody happy right here. The fact that either you're about to move physically from one home to another home or traveling or something like that. It also could be the fact that somebody didn't tell you the truth about moving and if they didn't tell you the, the truth about it it was a commitment and wasn't brave right here then i do see like here you're gonna be blessed because steady progress said steady progress is happening for you right it's a wise decision some type of way that this may did not happen for some of you concerning moving especially if somebody was trying to move in with you okay or you was planning that okay there could be a wise decision for that to happen like that Okay, what's a wise decision? One card, please. Wise decision right here. This is light workers. The same card flipped right back out here. <laughs> Five of Cups, it flipped right back out here. That's the card that just was out here, was regret. Okay, and the page of swords that this person is watching you. This person cooperating and compromise and being patient with you. This person going to see you be happy. Okay, I feel like that you, you're going to be happy. So it's a wise decision to move right here. Okay, that's what I definitely do feel. Everything happened for a reason. But some for some people here, somebody not moving in with you, it could have been a wise decision because now they're in a little bit of regret, um, regret and disappointments, which could make them now have the wisdom that it actually was something stable with you or that it was a wise choice to be with you so they can learn some type of lesson. Okay, could be that way it could go. But it could go so many different ways, okay? Because, you know, it's a couple hundreds of us will be watching this um, channel here. So it could go in a couple different ways. But I just feel like that moving for some of you is going to be the right choice. You have to believe, okay? And you have to um, trust the universe if it's telling you to move for some of you. But there is a trumpet that's being sound right here on a situation. Whether it was somebody that didn't, that wasn't brave enough to move in with you, okay? Or whether it's the fact right here that you need to be brave and move right here and travel or something like that, okay? But I do feel 
the universe is going to work this out in some type of way. So if this is about you moving, there will be steady progress and you will be able to move forward, okay? It could be buying a house or it could just be moving in general, okay? Let me see if they want to say anything else really quick right here about moving, okay, to us really quick. This is all the cards that was right there. So they want to say anything else right here about this movement, rise decision, earth angels, light workers, indigo, indigo children, holy spirit, holy angels. Don't compromise. Yeah. Right? It's like don't compromise right now. Stay knowing. Stay being brave. Right? Believe and trust that if you're looking for a home, that the right home is going to show up. Do not just take a home just because you want to move. You want to buy a home. You want to make sure that you're getting a home right here that's actually going to be safe and comfortable for you and your life as you move forward. Okay? Keep looking. If one have it come, another one is going to come. Okay? So the great opportunity it will come for some for some people here. Okay? Let's see what else because we have a couple more sprays to do. Okay? Let's talk to um, Akasha for now. Let's see what this one says. The Akasha Tarot. Which will we go through to the Akashic Records. Is where we go and get messages right here from this Akasha Tarot. All right, let's see. What's the message, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. This is for Earth Angels, Light Workers, say, uh, Indigo Children's. March the 15th, 2020. Somewhere around that time frame. What is the activated Earth Hot News? I bow to the wisdom of my own inner temple. And I allow myself's true voice to step in right now. And I activate the portal of my heart as the gateway between heaven and earth. And I allow my personality to step over to the side right now. And may these cards right now act as a doorway to the wisdom deep within the temple of my heart. And the hearts of all of you that we are reading for right now. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's the message please? The light workers, star seed, indigo children. Mm. Okay. Wow, this is a lot of cards that came out here for us today. Okay, it's a lot. Okay, but um, hmm. So maybe what I'm going to do is just read from these ones, and we'll see how much time we still have for the Star Sea Oracle because my phone is set for 30 minute reading. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what it's saying here. If we get too close to 30 minutes, I may not be able to go to the Star seed oracle today okay but let's see so we starting off right here with the eight of shows okay and the eight of shows is saying paths that's unknown okay so it's like as we move forward the path is unknown this car reveals that you've been traveling on a path that's known to you and it shows you the way to the expected outcome. But there are two other paths that aren't as clear. Remember, if you stay with only the known and seemingly safe, you won't catch the unseen opportunities that can't that I'm sorry, that can come your way. Some options may be unexpected and perhaps a little risky. Don't be so attached to your agenda that you miss them. Happily during the phase, you can investigate unknown paths and make decisions that lie before you. With the confidence, you are flexible and brave enough to step into the shadows. So stay alert. Extraordinary opportunities are bound in the least expected places. Wow. You know what I'm getting now from that home card that was coming out? And we had the five of cups, right? So the first deck that I just now did before this one. Okay, we'll wind the video back. But what I'm getting for that is that we had the five of cups. And the five of cups talks about regrets or a disappointment or something like that. Some of you, you may be turning down a home that actually is the home for you. And it could be because something about it. I don't know if it's cosmetic or what it is about it, okay? But um, it could be saying that it actually could be the right home for you. It's a possibility, okay? I feel like the best way to do is to 
if you have a tarot deck, you know, go to your tarot deck. If you have, um, um, if, if you can pray and meditate, you know, and try to get some answers that way about this home. But I'm feeling like for some of you, it says the path is unknown right here. So for some of you, it's a, it's an opportunity that's here, but I feel like you don't know which way to go or something like that. Okay. This also could be the next card right here. could be saying, ask your, um, Raphael. Okay. Because this card does say that it, something could be taking you to a path that you least even expected. So it could be a home that you didn't even think that that was the one that's for you. So I'm getting that for some of you. Okay. I am also noting we have two eights right here. And eight plus eight is 16. And see the two eights at the top. Okay. So eight plus eight is 16 and one plus six is seven and seven always means congratulations to me. So for some of you, it's like, I don't know that I don't know about one particular home or situation. It don't have to be a home. Okay. But I don't know about something right here. Right. And it's like, congratulations. Right. But you had to take a chance at it. It may seem risky for some of you for some reason. Okay. But this card says right here, Archangel Raphael. He walks down a path and approaches you, sharing his healing and uplifting light. He is profoundly loving spirit, spirit who has an important role in the bringing the Akashic power to you. The beautiful being carries the energy, energy of love. Family, miracles, healing, and blessed journeys. He can share all these intentions and experiences with you and even more. Of all of the archangels, Raphael's most often comes in skies as a, of a human. This card can indicate that helpful others may be attending to you now. It also pretends a time of great achievement in your personal life. And Raphael is opening the door. Blessings abound with this card upright. There may be a renewal of a lost dream. A reuniting of family members or a healing. Perhaps a physical condition or a broken heart. Even if this condition has been hanging for a while now, it is time when you can really break through. Let Raphael be your partner in the process and you'll soon see why they call him the miracle worker. Okay, so if you're not sure about house or if you're not sure about which way to go now, if something here is not a risky type of behavior, okay, I feel like they're saying you can definitely pray to Archangel Raphael, okay, and he will definitely show you the way. He came here to bring healing to you. They call him the miracle worker. So definitely do expect him to give you the message of how or what is the right path as I move forward here now. Okay. Seven of Shoals. Let's see what that's talking about here. Seven of Shoals. Okay. So let me take a look at this. Hmm. Well, to me, it looks like somebody's building something up. Okay. Could that be it? It could be the fact that it's a house that's not completely renovated yet. That could be for somebody. It doesn't have to be all of us, okay? But let's go ahead and read it. It says, work on a Renaissance cathedral has just begun. At first, the, build, the building seems modest. But in time, its grandeur will reach several stories high and across the centuries. But now piles of stones and rock do the scene. A mason bends focusedly, intently, on a plump bob that hangs next to the partially built wall. This in instrument helps him determine if the wall is straight and true. At a very basic level, this card could indicate building or renovating a home or a business. I see I was telling you that. So for some of you, five of cups with that home make me feel like something's not talking the way you want it with one particular home. Maybe it's not in the right area. Maybe it's not built right. Or, or you know, it could be anything like that. Maybe it's not finished being built yet. You know, it could be the case. But I feel like that praying to the archangel here about what is necessary and what's the next step. Okay. Alright. This card, this card shows that you're on your way to greatness, it says. But it requires 
attending to even the tiniest of particulars. Be diligent. Be diligent. Oh my goodness. Be diligent with the specifics in your state strategy, and pay considerable attention to detail and follow through. While you may have a long-term goal in mind, the small steps are what's important right now. Even the most magnificent cathedrals were built stone by stone, day by day. It's only by heaping up the small that the great can even be achieved. Okay, so um, I feel like 8 plus 8, congratulations. Okay, we have another 7 right here. So I told you 8 plus 8 is 16 and 1 plus 6 equals 7. So congratulations right here, right? Something is being built. It could actually be a home, maybe. Okay, um, so for some of you, it could be a home. Or being renovated, a home is being renovated. So getting like that for somebody here, okay? Let me see what else on the next card is saying here. So the next card we have is a three of forces. And a three of forces is talking about here. This bird's nest. And we had this card come out for us before. But let's read it now. When you receive this card upright, it's a signal to focus on starting new things or expanding Perhaps your business, your network of friends, or indeed your family. There may be some effort involved. The nest has to be built. And you will need to be open to additions coming your way. Children may be forthcoming. You may be renovating your home. So I keep getting that. Okay, so somebody's renovating a home or something about a home. It has to be fixed or something like that. Okay, perhaps you will be hiring new employees or even opening a new business location. Whatever it is, it will be well worth the effort. For the expansions you make will bring great joy to you. Spiritual expansions may be in store as well. It's never too late to widen your network of spirit, family, friends, and gods. The rewards of that kind of expansion are, are limitless. So this is beautiful right here. I feel like that you re renovating the home. Okay, that's what I feel like. Okay, but it, this home renovating a home, it doesn't have to be an actual home. It could be re renovating your own, your own. It could be meta, you know, metaphorical to re renovating your own self. You know, um, building yourself, healing yourself right here. It could be, okay, healing your family structure back up again. It could be that, you know. But it actually could be like like I said, business. You could be hiring new employees now. You could be um really expanding your business. Okay. This seven is show like somebody's building something. So if you be building your business, you could be actually um, you know, fixing a home up. That's what I'm getting here. So I feel like it's a home. Okay, but let's go ahead and see what else we have. Next card we have is um the two of keys. So let's see what the two of keys is talking about around here. Alright, so okay. two of keys right here. And this card is the treasure. Wow, only have two minutes left. So I don't even know if I'm gonna get to the next card. Okay, so anyway, two of keys. It says the card represents a great loss or disappointment in your life right now. It could be the loss of a job or relationship or even an opportunity. But remember that the phase is temporarily. It may take some time and effort to rally your focus to recover. But there's a great treasure within you that is always available. The little chest represents the part of you that is filled with light. It isn't vulnerable. It can never be lost or damaged. When you focus on what's wrong or what's lacking, it perpetrates your sense of emptiness and victimness. So don't let yourself get lost get yeah, get lost in your loss. Open the lid to your light and let it illuminate your way. There are opportunities and greater wealth waiting for you to discover. So I just feel like with this card right here, right? Something here is actually a treasure. It may not look like it's not, but I feel like it is. Okay. It's a blessing in disguise in some type of way. Okay. This King of Keys card right here. I'm not sure if this video is going to be here long enough for me to speak up on it. Okay. But let's try to get what we can get in here. Whether the king of kids represent you or another, be on the lookout for a major promotion, a heighten of your income, okay, is saying, or furthering a career achievements. The career of finances, real estate, or business are typical for the king of kids, but management in any industry can be forthcoming. 
This may also be a good time for self-employment and business expansion for you or a man in your life. And this is so beautiful. So it's time to build. It's time to expand, whether it's business or anything else. Namaste.